Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Make sure you smash that like button down below. And oh my god, I am so thankful that the cryptocurrency market is now rebounding. Got Bitcoin back to 17,300, up 4% on the day. Ethereum ripping to 10% on the day, back to about 1,250. XRP making its way back to 40 cents per coin. I don't know what it is, man, but when I see XRP go from almost 50 cents to almost 20 cents in two days, I, I feel like I get some sort of a Coinbase law or a SEC lawsuit PTSD, dude. When I Because we were at 47, 48 cents a coin. We were doing fine. We were near 50 cents. We were up there with the support levels, trying to crack those resistances, fill the gaps up to 80, 90 cents a coin. And yeah, it went from 47 to like 32 or 31. And I'm like, Ugh, I hate looking at that, man. I hate looking at that. So when I went to sleep last night, I'm like, you know what? I better see a sea of green when I wake up. And sure as hell, that's what we are seeing. So as you can see on the charts here, that's what it is all looking like. Yeah, XRP got brought down to freaking 31 from 47 to 31, man. That is... That hurts a little bit, but you know what? All great pumps, they start with a dump. Like, you you look at every single major pump in any crypto. You can always find a dump before that. Just understand that. Another thing, um, yeah. So, half of the Sam Bankman Fried FTX FTT dumpage um, has now been scooped up by you guys. Uh, canceling out the dump. So, actually... Very, very glad to see that. Uh, let's carry on today. We got a lot of uh, weird news going on today. A lot of weird stuff. So check out this first one here. I don't think you're ready for this. Accredify Incorporated DBA Invest Ready has filed a motion to file an amicus brief in support of the SEC. What? Accredify files an amicus brief in support of the SEC. Oh, sounds like someone's got some creepy hidden financial backgrounds that they don't want to be investigated. So they come up and just be like, oh, hey, SEC, we support you guys. You know, don't investigate us. Don't investigate our wrongdoings. What the fuck is that all about, dude? Why are you supporting the SEC? That's just weird. I, like, I thought, like, I couldn't. When I woke up in the morning and read this, I thought I just wasn't reading it right. But, it, like, no, in support of the SEC. So, yeah, they uh, <laughs> they got something that the, they don't want the SEC to come after them for. Jeremy Hogan says down here, If I were Ripple's lawyer, I'd ask for an additional five pages to my last brief in order to address this amicus brief. And then just ignore it. And I got five more pages for argument. So, I just, just so freaking weird, man. So freaking weird. Another one. Another one. Interesting. Gary Gensler runs to the media while reports to my office allege he was helping Sam Bankman Fried and FTX work on legal loopholes to obtain a regulatory monopoly. We're looking into this. That's why the CEO of FTX, it's like registered, he donated $50 million to political lobbying. Okay, and then yeah, guess what? John Dean comes out on Twitter and says, hey, just a shot in the dark, does anyone have any documents of uh, the SEC Gary Gensler meeting with FTX? Yeah, SEC has met with the FTX plenty of times, which is why I put out on Twitter yesterday, um, is this right here. And by the way, I got that check mark. Thank you, Big Daddy Elon. I got that check mark now. I feel bad for the people who had to pay like three grand to get one. I got direct messages one time. I got direct messages from this account that had like less than 2K followers, but it was verified. And they said, hey man, like I can get you verified on Twitter. Like, do, like, do you want me to help you? I'm like, okay, how much? And he said, uh, 3,000. I'm like, <laughs> fuck you, $3,000. Freak Elon gave, just gave it to me for like seven, man. So that's why I put out on Twitter yesterday, um, SEC been attacking ripple for the last two years a very honest sophisticated silicon valley cryptocurrency company 
and FTX and FTT just somehow, just somehow, some way goes unnoticed by anyone at the SEC. Funny. And you also have that moment in time where the CEO of FTX spoke in front of Congress and lied about $8 billion. Yeah, that's what you have there. Check us out here from BitBoy. I'm kind of liking BitBoy more and more. Not going to lie. You know, I, I didn't really like him that much in the first place. But damn, he was right about FTT, FTX. He was telling people, get your tokens off FTX. Get off that exchange. Sam Bakeman frees the devil. I think he was kind of right, man. I think he was kind of right. Check this out here. SBF had the SEC bought off. Maybe now Gary Gensler will resign. Remember, they went after Ripple while SBF and FTX were lying in front of Congress about $8 billion. Okay. Insane, man. Insane. Here's a weird one. Breaking. Twitter has just filed paperwork for them to enter the payments business. Here it comes. Ripple XRP or a competitor. I don't know about that one, but we'll see in the future. And yeah, so Sam Bigman Fried, the CEO of FTX, actually put out a long Twitter thread today. He put out a very, very long Twitter thread today. I'm sorry. That's the biggest thing. I fucked up and should have done better. I also should have been communicating more very recently. Transparently, my hands were tied during the duration of the possible Binance deal. I wasn't... <laughs> the Binance deal. Binance never wanted FTX, bro. Binance never wanted FTX. They wanted the announcement of, oh, you know, we might, we might buy FTX. To pop up the price of FTT from $2 to like $5. Then they got more exit liquidity. Binance. Don't make that mistake, guys. Binance never wanted FTX. They were just playing the game. They're just playing the game. They wanted more exit liquidity, all right? But of course, it's on me that we ended up here in the first place. Um, so here's an update on where things are. This is all about FTX International, uh, not the FTX US. Apparently, FTX US is just fine. Um... FTX International currently has a total market value of assets slash collateral higher than client deposits. Moves with prices. But that's different from liquidity for delivery. Uh, as you can tell from the state of withdrawals, the liquidity varies widely from very little, from very to very little. Um, the full story here is one I'm still fleshing out every detail of, but as a very high level, I fucked up twice. The first time, a poor internal labeling of bank-related accounts meant that I was substantially off on my sense of user's margin. I thought it was way lower. I mean, I don't know. If you're if you're dealing with billions, I feel like you should... I feel like that's something kind of simple. I mean, I'm not, I'm not no billionaire running a crypto exchange, but I feel like if I was, I would have a fucking damn good internal labeling system so I could understand, like, where all the money's at, who, whose it is, you know? My sense before lever, uh, okay, so, because of course when it rains, it pours. We saw roughly $5 billion of withdrawals on Sunday, the largest by a huge margin. And so I was off twice, which tells me a lot of things, both specifically and generally that I was shit at. And a third time, I'm not communicating and, and not communicating enough. Uh, I should have said more. I'm sorry. I, I was slammed with things to do and didn't give updates to you all. I mean, well, you kind of just came out on Twitter and said, we're fine, guys. No, we're fine. That's all you said. So you did give us updates. You just lied about it. Said that. Oh, we're fine, guys. There's nothing wrong. We're fine. We're, we're, we got liquidity. We're, we're not insolvent. We didn't lose all your money. You know? And so uh, where we we are where we are, which sucks, and that's on me. I'm sorry. Okay, that's like the third I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, right now, my number one priority by far is doing right by users, and I'm uh, going to do everything I can to do that, take responsibility, and do what I can. So right now, we're spending the week doing everything we can do we can to raise liquidity. Like a fundraiser? Like a fundraiser, but it's not a charity or something? I can't make any promises on that, but I'm going to try and give anything I have to if that will make it work. There are a number of players who we are in talks with, LOIs, term sheets, etc. Yeah, so I think, I think you know, someone, that's kind of hard to predict. Is somebody going to want FTX? Because now FTX, you've pretty much had their, their reputation just tarnished. 
you know so it's like as an investor standpoint i i guess you could want the exchange grab it for the user base rebrand it bring the credibility back but i don't know it's a very risky play though so i i guess i guess somebody will buy it somebody will buy it i'm not sure there are a number of players who we were in talks with, LOIs, term sheets, etc. We'll see how that ends up. Every penny of that and of the existing collateral will go straight to users unless or until we've done right by them. After that, investors, old and new, and employees who have fought for what's right for their career and weren't responsible for any of the fuck-ups. Because at the end of the day, I was CEO, which means that I was responsible for making sure that things went well. I ultimately should have been on top of everything. I clearly failed in that. I'm sorry. So what does this mean going forward? I'm not sure. That depends on what happens in the next week. But here are some things I know. First, one way or another, Almeida Research is winding down trading. There aren't any doing of the weird things that I see on Twitter and nothing large at all in one way or another. Soon, they won't be trading on FTX anymore. Second, any scenario in which FTX continues operating, its first priority will be radical transparency. Transparency it probably should always have been giving giving as close to on-chain transparency as it can so that people know exactly what is happening on it. All the stakeholders would have a hard look at FTX governance. I don't know. This is... This is just some damage control shit, man. Like, I mean, I'm reading through this thread, and, I, like, I, I, I read, like, halfway through it, and it's just like, I don't want to fucking hear this. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have done better. I know I'm bad. I, I fucked up, man. Like... Dude, you you were handling fucking the livelihood of many people's money, bro. <laughs> and, and look at this one, dude. Look at this one. This is okay. So Sam Bankman Fried's claiming. I mean, you fucking bit boy. I gotta say, bit boy, you were fucking right, dude. Bit boy was fucking right, man. I gotta give it to him. Okay, maybe he did look a little crazy freaking out on live stream, but bit boy was fucking right. I will tell you. He was calling Sam Bankman Fried the fucking devil. Get your money off FTX. Don't get rid of the FTT token. He was right. Because Sam Bankman Fried right now is doing this damage control. Just trying to make FTX still look good so they could probably still sell it off to an investor, right? SBF is saying, oh, sorry, guys. I didn't update you when I should have been updating you. I was just so slammed. Yeah, well, you know what? On November 7, 2022, he did say... A competitor is trying to go after us with false rumors. FTX is fine. Assets are fine. Yeah, so you did update us, but you fucking lied. And honestly, this whole thread is just 22 tweets of basically, I'm sorry, I fucked up. I'm sorry, I fucked up. I'm fucked up. I'm sorry. I really didn't manage things that well. I'm kind of an idiot. I'm sorry. Now we're looking for investors to bail out the users. So there it is, guys. Don't leave your damn XRP on an exchange. Link in the description. Get yourself a Ledger Nano S. Do you know how comfortable it is when you got all these exchange hacks going on and everyone's freaking out on Twitter? Oh my God, my money's on this exchange. And then and then you're just chilling with an offline wallet. You don't have to worry about jack shit. Because the only way someone that can act like the only way someone can access your crypto is if you have a fucking physical device to get in all right so tell, I'm telling you guys please link in the description get a legend os this is not the first exchange to get hacked this will not be the last or no fbx <laughs> wait, wait wait a second wait a second wait a second ftx didn't even get hacked bro they just fucked up but i'm telling you this ain't the first exchange to fuck up won't be the last one so please get an offline wallet i think you guys tuned the video today really appreciate it uh very very good to see xrp price bouncing back and hope it keeps doing it. And I am sure as hell we got the retrace we need to continue on with XRP price action. All right, guys. Catch the next one. Peace.